So drawing out the heel of the blade, obviously I need to decide how long my blade is going to be and I'm just putting myself, giving myself a visual indicator, a little notch, putting that notch in the center of my anvil at a 45 degree and I'm going to notch with the corner of my hammer. So in other words, that little corner there, I am going to notch and flipping it over, keeping that angle the same. Now I'm using the tip of my hammer or that little corner there. And you can see as I'm hammering, I'm moving that little in. So, next step, heat up again as I'm losing heat. Um, and then I'll just continue drawing out that little heel. So repositioning on that angle. You're hammering. Just drawing out that heel. Constantly flipping positions. Hitting it on both sides equally. Well, as much as possible. Basically, my rule is if I'm starting with six millimeter thick stock bar, what I want to do is I want to draw out my cutting edge to a third of that thickness. So uh, I'm going to pinch it down to about a two mil and now continue on the next step, just pinching all the way back. But idea is on the next heat to start hammering there draw this out, then move on to the next port, draw it out, draw it out. So the whole idea is now to work from there to the tip. When I get to the tip, my edge is exactly the same thickness. So I'm going to focus on getting that edge exactly the same thickness all the way through. What you don't want to end up doing is working here, then there, then there, and constantly having to move back and forth along the blade. All right, so enough talking, let's get back into the fire. So starting on that edge, now I can open up a tad more, keep note, my hammer is at an angle, I'm not hammering flat, my hammer is at an angle, and I'm going to be working that spot, flipping up, working this side and that side, and you'll see I'm only hammering the edge. And I'm moving color in my metal, so I'm going back into the forge. So continuing working. Making sure my edge is the same thickness. Doing exactly what I told you not to do. So basically what we want to do is start here and work that edge thickness all the way to the tip. Okay, as I get to the tip, I'm hammering a bit softer as the metal is already thinner. Edge thickness is about the same all the way through. So what I want to do now is uh, just clean up. So in other words, getting rid of all of these bumps. Just on this note, see that little deformation? I've got a belly happening here, okay? And then a little dip right there. So if I want to draw the metal out, I'm going to hit it right on that little dip and it'll draw out the metal. But uh, my preferred method, hammering that edge in, and then drawing it out again. All right, so uh, let's go. Okay. So once again, cleaning the anvil, hammering on that spot, and you'll see that little divot that we had is no longer. So now I'm starting at the tip. You'll see where my hammer blows are landing right in the middle. From the back, once again, straight to the tip color in my metal so it's back into the forge okay so using the method as shown before on the, the tip hammering the tip down I'm sorting the spine out now using the, the rocking method I'm hammering both the spine and sorting out my edge and there we go so next heat up you can see where my hammer blows are done being falling. I'm still working on the center, flattening out, metal is a bit cold, so it's back into the forge. My next pass, I'm going to come up on the spine. Okay, so basically, cleaning out, making sure that my edge is the same thickness, just running through that again before I get to the spine, keeping in mind that the thinner part of the metal will obviously cool down quicker. Alrighty, sorting out the center of that and now running down my spine. 
getting all those high spots. I don't want that in my metal, so... Uh, less talking and more hammering might be required. But there we go. Distal taper done, heel all drawn out, edge exactly the same thickness. Well, I so now I want to add a bit more definition in there, find a sharp corner on the anvil, and then hammer 90 degrees above that, right across from it. So hammer down on that little mark there, creating a little bit more definition in the choil area, or well, the run up, run up to the ricasso, that little transition area. So what I did there was just to level out the spine of my blade. You'll see that there's a slight twist to it, but once this, the steel is back up to temperatures, this hammering there will sort that out. Just keep in mind that you do not want to hit that there that you just spent a good while drawing out. Okay.